Me and Skyrim have this relationship, and I think a lot of people have this style of relationship. And now understand, this is a game that I have beaten multiple times, and I always find myself going back to this game again and again. I mean, for whatever reason, I can't stop giving Bethesda my money. They know it, I know it, it's what it is. So whenever I heard that this game was going to be made in VR, that I mean, that's when shit got real. I knew I had to have it, yet again. Uh, so I started noticing this pattern. Each time I'd play this game, uh, for, for whatever reason, I always do the, the same stuff every time. I don't, I don't understand it. So as the game starts, and you start to descend the mountain that you've descended many times before, you got him telling you the same story you've heard over and over and you know i give them 30 seconds of my time maybe maybe less maybe more and i get extremely bored with it and then i just start rapidly pressing buttons i'm looking every which direction but like at him at the actual story i'm just trying to end this unskippable scene so i can get to the character select screen and then I finally, I finally get to the spot where I can pick my character, I can choose my class, and you know, I, I'm trying to reassure myself in my head, like, you know, this is the time that I play a different character. This, this is the time that I choose, that I choose something different, you know? I, I'm gonna have an extremely unique experience on this one. It's gonna be something I've never done before. I'll cycle through the characters thinking to myself, maybe I'll be the cat. Hell, he can sneak around. Or how about Reptile, you know? Uh, how about the whole game as a badass mage? Uh, but no, none of that ever happens. It, it, I'm, I'm usually the Nord. I'm always... I don't know what I'm telling myself. I'm always the Nord. And I guess I only find comfort in things that somewhat look like me. And I never really seem to name a character... Like, a, a, a real name. Like, of course, usually the first time that I play a game, I'll, I'll usually put my name in there. But, you know, after, like, the, the, the sixth or seventh time, I'm putting the stupidest shit in there that I can think of. Like, Officer Pencil Dick or Spunculator. Uh, anything that I can get, you know, the slightest chuckle on when I see an NPC repeat my name back in text. So after, you know, the famous chopping block cutscene, the game kind of begins, you know, you, you get to move around somewhat, your, your hands are still bound, so you don't get to go and pick up the things you want to pick up, uh, and the whole time you gotta follow this fuckhead, and you're just, you're, you're wanting this whole scene to be done so you can, so you can play this game, and the whole time I'm running past him, waiting for him to catch up, uh, I'm going to places I shouldn't, I, I am trying to provoke things, um, I'm just... Really, I'm just wasting time because it's it's a slow scene. It's one you want to get out of the way. Uh, you know, as Officer Pencil Dick, it is time to get this game started. Every time that I play Skyrim and I finally reach the official outside, it always reminds me of the first time in Fallout 3 when you go outside and you're greeted with this huge, beautiful game that you get to molest in like a multitude of ways. And you're almost overwhelmed by it, you know, not knowing what to do first. So, like most people, I almost instantly try to find something to kill, and it's usually some innocent creature that's near me. Now, I will say, it is one thing to shoot a rabbit, you know, on top of a mountain, you know, some good distance between you, you know, that's, that's a great feeling. But, to burn one in VR using the motion controls, you really feel like you're terrorizing the forest. So after a considerable amount of animal cruelty, I begrudgingly like make my way back to the village, knowing you know that's the only way to progress this game. Of course, I'm gonna stop at the three stones and let my anxiety choose the same thing I always choose, and I make my way to the first village. Of course, you know, fucking with any rabbit, deer, wolf that I see along the way. Now, once I arrive at this town, I get the same feeling I get every time. And, and I get this feeling, you know, whether I'm playing like GTA or, you know, just another sandbox style game. And I got I got to hold hold myself back. I got to fight the urge to cause panic and terror in this town. I'm talking like raining arrows down, lightning bolts, flames. I mean, especially with these move controls, it, it's unreal. I mean, you really feel... Like, you are a person not to fuck with. And so I do like I'm sure everybody else does. I make a new file, uh, and then I unleash my torment, uh, only to reload the game as if nothing happened. You know, we're cool, the game understands completely, and I, I still feel like I have a good character. 
So, you know, playing this game as many times as I have, you know, getting to the spot again and again, it, it all starts to feel like a chore. You know, instead of, like, listening to these characters, following where the story goes, I'm just doing the stupidest shit I can. I'm trying to stack things on tables. I'm trying to throw things at my stacks. Hell, I'm trying to stack things on the characters themselves. This is when the true artist within the Nord comes out. Now you'll finally get to a spot in the game where, where it is yours. It is yours to do what you want. Uh, you can go any route you would like. You don't, you're not in a set path. You can be, but you can kind of just... It, it's your oyster. Shuck the hell out of it. And the, the first thing that I always do in this situation is I find a horse. I, I have to have a horse and I have to push it to the limits. I'm talking GTA style over some unscalable mountain. It usually ends up in the horse dying. I have to like hop jump over some weird rock that I, I for whatever reason, got stuck in. Only to take about five minutes to get out of said rock uh, to hobble myself back to the nearest village I can. Uh, you know, not without killing some random creature along the way. But, you know, eventually I do get on board, I conform, I do what the game wants me to do. I, you know, I start progressing the stories, I start doing side missions, you know, just the, the typical Skyrim shit one should expect. But now, understand this, you know, after beating this game so many times, and, and the hours that I have sunk into this game, I always find myself hitting what I like to call the Skyrim ceiling and you know that's when you you know have this feeling that you no longer wish to proceed you have no interest in this game uh, it, it can offer you nothing else simply for the fact that you, you've done it too many damn times so you know whether you allow yourself to get distracted you're just doing something else you just you're done with the game uh, you'll take a break long enough just to forget everything you've done in the game, everything you've collected, all the items that you have, you load back up only to feel like you're playing someone else's file. It feels dirty, it feels wrong. You know, sometimes I'll plug on, I'll finish it up, but I, you know, I usually find myself just giving up entirely, uh, only to be sucked back in, you know, sometime in the future whenever they come out with some other version of Skyrim, you know, some remastered or some gimmick associated to it. Uh, and I'll get it. I mean, Bethesda knows that. I know it and that is what happens every time I play Skyrim you know so fuck it you know perhaps next game I'll choose reptile